Hello everyone. Um, I just found out via, well, Canon 212 and Twitter that George Neumeier has died. Um, I'm kind of in shock, you know, as I'm sure most of you are. Um, LifeSite News posted an article as well. They posted an article now. Uh, George Neumeier was visiting Africa and it, particularly I think the Ivory Coast and I was talking a lot about his work you know um, I think I even mentioned it on the most recent EVTN show and he was there to see how the Francis Church is doing in Africa and how it was a myth I kind of thought it was a little bit of a waste of time and it turns out it I don't know but um he, is, he was doing some good reporting. Now, Michael Hitchborn of Lepanto Institute said that he was suffering from malaria for a week, and he refused to go to the hospital. He also had some problems with, like, um, what do you call them, thieves in Africa. They stole his cell phone. Um, so he had, he, he had some problems with the U.S. Embassy. And he was tweeting, I mean, look at what he was posting up until well, January 17th or so. Uh, he was tweeting quite a bit, so I don't, I don't really know. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I believe Hitchborn or not. I'd like to. I'd like to believe it was just something, a freak accident. But, um, you know, given the nature of what he was doing, it's, it's sad. Who's going to stand up? Who's going to do the investigative work? Is this a reward for his investigative work? He was investigating the McCarrick Bishop um, nest out. So I, it's suspicious. It really is. I don't know. I'm not sure what I believe. But yeah, besides nest out, LifeSite News pointed out that he was banned from the Washington, D.C. Cathedral for uh, investigating Rossi, who was... Um, <laughs> he, he, had, he had some issues. <laughs> he did, and he's still the rector there. No surprise. Um, George Neumeier, I believe he was the one to... <laughs> he just walked up to Cardinal Tobin and asked him, uh, if he had an Italian male model living in his rectory, and Cardinal Tobin said yes. Cardinal Tobin is also the one who tweeted out the nighty night baby. George um, made the connections with that. I don't think there's anyone else like him. I don't think there's anyone else who will do investigative work like that. Someone like me, I look at the financial statements from my own home. You know, I look at financial statements. I don't go and ask people things. George Neumeier went and knocked on Nestout's door. All of his, um, that Nestout story, is that gonna, <laughs> is that gonna come up? Um, yeah, the, is, is the Nestout story going to, um, be broken? Is, is anyone gonna pick up on that? Because they haven't. The Catholic media hasn't. LifeSite News ran the story that George Neumeier died. Um, is are any, Pay close attention to any of the media outlets. Are any of the other Catholic media outlets going to post anything about it? Because this guy was actually doing the groundwork. None of these other media outlets were doing anything. They're from the comfort of their own homes, and myself included. They're getting stories, so they're looking at diocesan newspapers or relying on people to spread rumors or people like you to report it to them for you to do the work, and they get paid for it. Donate us, donate money to us. Well, George was actually going and knocking on doors. I don't see that anywhere else. The pillar has a lot of contacts. They can get some, um, you know, they can get some big stories from their contacts, but... George was really the only one who was going places and doing things. So he lost a good one. 
as the Francis Church continues to crumble. And it's sad. It's I'm I'm really sad. Pray for his soul. You know, he's done a lot of good work for the church. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think anyone's going to replace him. Um, that's it. I don't really have much else to say. Uh, it's 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 difficult to react, you know, like it's it's difficult to comprehend what what just happened, you know. He wasn't very old. Um, anyway, all right, well, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we are the laity, and we will not be silent.